Well, a good morning. It's Lawyer Fair Daily. It is Wednesday, the 3rd of June. I sound like some kind of breakfast TV presenter, but it is, uh, it is early in the morning. Uh, it, this enables me to record this before the, the office gets busy. Uh, but welcome, Andrew Weaver here, uh, one of the co-founders of Lawyer Fair. And uh, today is a day of great rejoicing if you have any interest in football or actually any interest in anti-cronyism, because Sepp Blatter has finally fallen on his sword, cleared his desk, a rather expensive desk, I suspect, uh, in neon Switzerland, and uh, hopefully uh, the world of football. And also the move against cronyism has kind of taken a, a large step forward this morning. But this uh, podcast, this brief podcast, is not about that. It's about uh, IP and how you can register IP and how you can avoid people, hopefully, uh, borrowing your IP. Because in the words of Coco Chanel, I don't know why I went into a deep voice, but uh, I just felt I had to do something slightly different uh, to announce the words of Coco Chanel. Um, but in her fine words, if you're original, be ready to be copied because the world is ready to copy your great idea. So, and also there was some, a recent ruling, of uh, quite a, uh, an interesting ruling relating to uh, Pharrell Williams and Robin, is it Thicke? Thicke? I, don't, I genuinely don't know how to pronounce your name, Robin. So if you do happen to stumble across this podcast, I apologize. But they were ordered to pay uh, seven million, roughly $7 million for borrowing uh, elements of a Marvin Gaye track for their hit Blurred Lines. Although I have to say they probably, uh, or reportedly, earned uh, double, more than double that. Which reminds me of the old Sunday trading laws where companies and stores used to open on the Sunday. Used to get fined on the Monday, roughly a tenth of what they'd taken, which was not really an incentive for them to do anything different. Uh, and is partly why legislation moved on. But anyway, I digress. Um, IP may not always be as clear-cut and obvious uh, as someone stealing or borrowing a song. Uh, there was a recent ruling that said that Apple could use uh, trademark protection, for example, for the layout of its stores. So there are a whole range of things that you can trademark, and so you need to investigate uh, what uh, IP within your business you can trademark. And it's, it's pretty much money well spent, whether it's a registering a design application or a UK trademark application, etc. But of course, the other area that is really key is how and when you monitor it. Now, for the smaller businesses, uh, that's not always easy. You don't necessarily have the resource. But there are ways and means of tracking what your competition are doing, whether it's through trade shows, um, magazines, even social media, that enables you just to monitor whether anybody is borrowing your IP. So it's an area that's very important to most companies. It's certainly something you should be registering if you haven't already done and monitoring. Uh, we've done an article on it recently on Lawyer Fair, but there's obviously lots of people out there who can advise and help. So just think about uh, Coco Chanel, uh, Robin Williams, no, not Robin Williams, Pharrell Williams, and uh, Robin, what's his name? And uh, make sure that you uh, uh, look after your IP and protect it as best you can. Andrew Weaver, uh, it's been a pleasure. And until next time, thank you very much. Have a great day.